welcome back to another video this is bruna today as you can see we are going to be crocheting this beautiful pineapple stitch crochet earrings super super pretty different you're going to be rocking this for summertime and also if you're going to any festival this is going to be the perfect pair of earrings that you can take because it's so so summery and it's boho and it's going to be perfect for any festival that you're going now for summertime and also if you just want to walk around wearing your beautiful handmade crochet earrings you can do so because that's crochet and you made it and you can wear it anytime you want <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> so this is what i'm going to show you in today's video i really hope you like it and now let's begin with this beautiful tutorial starting with the materials i'm going to be using to make this you will need a thinner yarn the thinnest yarn you have at home uh, this is a number zero lace yarn there are even thinner yarns than this if you make with a thinner yarn then you're gonna have a smaller applique like a little pendant um, if you use a thicker yarn you will have a bigger earring all right so keep that in mind when you are using different yarns and this yarn is the amanda 5 by teslan.com and it's 100 percent cotton with this yarn i am using a two millimeters hook tapestry needle so that we can do the weavings a small pair of scissors and here for the earring we have a jump ring and a fish hook this is the one that i've decided to add at the top but you can choose any other that you find online or that you have at home and then here I have two little tools, the flat nose plier and the round nose plier, just so that we can open and close the jump ring. So these are all the materials. So now let's begin with this super fun earring. So leave a little tail. You want to leave about 10 centimeters. You don't want to leave a short tail because you want to make sure that you have enough yarn to weave in at the top of the earring. We are going to be starting at the top and work our way down. So leave as much as you want and then create a slip knot and chain four one two three four so we are going to be working the very first row into the very first chain this one right here so we are going to be creating a cluster of two double crochets so you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook inserting into that very first chain make sure that you get two loops of that chain like this and then you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two keeping that last one on the hook and then you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook going into the same chain pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two keeping the last one on the hook the beginning will be different because we have the chain three right at the beginning and then all you have to do is to yarn over and pull through all the loops so this is a cluster at the beginning of the row right after the first cluster chain five and then we are going to be creating another cluster into that same chain so you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook insert your hook into that same chain the very first one pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two and now you have to do two more so wrap it around the hook insert into the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then do one more into that same chain so that we have a cluster of three double crochets once you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the loops just like this now you're going to chain three and turn project and then into this very first stitch right on top of this cluster the previous one you're going to be creating another cluster in which was the same as you did right at the beginning with the chain so you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook insert into any stitch that you want that is right here at the beginning and then yarn over pull through two and do one more to complete the cluster so the chain three counts as the first double crochet and then yarn over and pull through all loops you're going to chain one and into the chain five we are going to be doing seven double crochets so two three four five six and seven so now at the end chain one 
and then you're going to be finding any stitch right at the end it can be the chain for this one the rest is going to be different but for this beginning here it has to be the very last stitch and then into the last stitch you are going to be making a cluster with three double crochets exactly as we did into the first row the second cluster that we did once you have the full loops yarn over pull through all the loops and now you have the second row it's going to look a little bit weird right at the beginning but it's going to become this beautiful earring that i've created so now chain three and turn so now you're going to be doing the cluster exactly as we did into the second row and you're going to be finding any stitch right on top of the previous one just like that and now we are going to be working the spaces to start with the pineapple stitch so chain two and now we go into the double crochets so i'm going to be skipping the chain one space and i'm going to be creating a double crochet right on top into the next and the very first double crochet and then chain one double crochet into the next stitch chain one double crochet into the next chain one and double crochet into the next and keep on repeating the same until you have covered all the seven double crochets Make sure that you have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is going to be the last one. Seven. Now at the end, you're going to chain two and then you're going to be doing a cluster right at the end, exactly as we did the second row with three double crochets together. There we go. So now we have row number three completed. So now from row four onwards, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. So the beginning and the end will be different, will not be the same as we did until now. So you're going to be turning the project from here. So all you have to do is to insert your hook around the chain two, and then you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to slip stitch into the first loop. And then here you're going to be doing the cluster. So chain three, and then create the cluster with two double crochets in which is the beginning of the row. So exactly the same cluster, but just a little bit different. So it creates a little detail around the earring. So now we are going to be chaining five right after the cluster. So two, three, four, five. And then you're going to be skipping the double crochet of the previous row and you're going to be finding the chain one right in between the double crochets the very first one so here we have the chain two in which is right at the bottom of the cluster and then we have the double crochet and the first chain one so into the chain one you're going to be making a single crochet and then you go into chain five Skip the double crochet into the chain one, the next one, you're going to be doing a single crochet. So that's all you have to do into every chain one space. So chain five and single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain five and single crochet into the next chain one space. Now we have two more chain five single crochet into the next chain one chain five and single crochet into the last chain one space so here we have one two three four five loops on top of the double crochets and then we have the chain five from the cluster that goes into the first chain one space so these first five chains it's basically for the side here of the earring and then we have the the little loops for creating the pineapple stitch so now at the end you're going to chain five 
and then you're going to be creating the last cluster into the chain to space not at the end anymore into the chain to space the cluster with three double crochets together just like that so you're going to be turning the project from here so no chaining and then you're going to be slip stitching into this very first chain five and now here you can do the first cluster so chain three and then create a cluster with two double crochets and now chain five and then you're going to single crochet into the very first chain five that you can find in which is this one so single crochet into that so it looks like this and now you can chain five and single crochet into the following chain five and that's all you're going to do all the way down so chain five and single crochet into the next chain five so I have two more this is the last one and now when you get at the end you're going to chain five and then into this last chain five Right at the end, you're going to be doing the cluster with three double crochets together. There we go. So this is how it's looking now. Every time you move up a row, you will see that the amount of loops will decrease. So we have started with five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we have four, then three, two, and one. So next row, turn, slip stitch into the first chain five. And now from here is just repeating the same until you basically have one loop right at the end. So you're going to be keep on repeating the same steps all the way down until you have just one loop. And then you're gonna have the chain on the sides and just one loop right at the end, as you can see. I'm going to show you every single row if you need to know how to make it. Otherwise, you can just skip a little bit forward until I have finished all the little loops. So into the first chain five, we're going to be doing the cluster. So chain three and cluster with two double crochets and then chain five, single crochet into the next chain five space. And now into the last one that we are going to be doing the single crochet. So at the end, you have to leave this last chain five to create the cluster on top. So we have the finishing. So chain five and single crochet into the next chain five space. And now we go into the last one. So you're going to chain five and then you're going to be creating the cluster with three double crochets here into this last chain five. So now turn, slip stitch into the first chain five, chain three, and cluster with two double crochets right into the very first chain five. Now you're going to chain five, single crochet into the next chain five, chain five, single crochet into the next chain five chain five single crochet into the next one and now we go into the very last chain five so you're going to chain five and you're going to be creating the cluster right at the end into that last chain five There we go. So now we got into the last row where we are going to be finishing the pineapple. So we are going to be having the last loop here at the end. So you're going to be turning and slip stitching into the very first 
chain five and then here you're going to be creating the the cluster so chain three and cluster with two double crochets together chain five and then single crochet into the next chain five now you're going to chain five single crochet into the next chain five and now you're going to chain five and cluster into that very last chain five A cluster with three double crochets together so now here we are going to be creating a little finishing so we have a little point exactly like this one so you're going to be following the same at the beginning and at the end with the clusters so turn slip stitch and create the first cluster into the very first chain five with two double crochets together so now you're going to chain five one two three four five you're going to then single crochet into the next chain five and then you're going to chain five and you're going to be creating a cluster right into the last chain five with three double crochets together and now the ending so you're going to be having two loops at the end of five chains so you're going to be turning and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain five and then you're going to be making a cluster here so chain three and cluster with two double crochets and then we are not chaining now we are going to go straight into the next chain five and we are going to be creating the cluster on the other side so cluster with three double crochets together so it's going to be two cluster basically together here at the end and now to finish it off i like to chain three and then i turn my project and then i slip stitch right on top of the last cluster it can be also right at the end where you have the chain just find a little stitch right here make it nice and tight and then you're just going to slip stitch this is going to be creating a little point like a really nice sharp point here at the end now we have it ready it's completed as you can see this is all it's super super easy and that was just like 20 minutes <laughs> so now you have to chain one cut off the yarn and then you can fasten off now we have two yarns to weave in and we have to attach the fish hook right at the top of the earring it's that simple so this is how it looks once you have completed it looks the most stunning little stitch ever i love how this looks also if you want to block it and also you can glue block it that's also another option so you're basically gonna get a little bit of white glue like those cool glues it can be the Elmer's glue if you have equal parts of glue and water and then just mix that together and then you're going to be wetting all this all the project with that little mixture you can just soak it in into a little pot a little container and then you're just going to release that from the glue and the water together and then you're just gonna let it dry that's going to maintain the earring very very sturdy basically it's not gonna be moving like like it's moving right now it's going to be super super sturdy sturdy and it's going to give the structure of basically an earring i don't mind to have this little movement because it's crochet if you want you can do the little trick that i that i just mentioned but otherwise you can leave it like this so let's do the weave in together so choose one of the sides to be the back of the earring so that you can do all the weave-ins i'm going to be doing this the back because this is the reverse of the double crochets so i'm going to do the weave-in here so thread this yarn into a tapestry needle and then what i like to do here is to move this yarn into the double crochets that we have here because we have more space to weave in so i'm gonna go through a couple of stitches down 
And now I'm going to skip the first one, the first little loop and go back into those same stitches. Skip the first one and then go back again. So if you do three times, that is enough. Now you can go ahead and cut off the yarn and do the same to the other side. So first you're going to be moving this yarn into a place where you want to do the weave in. I'm going to be doing it right here. So I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, skipping the first loop every time I go down. And I'm going to be doing three times, just like this. Once that's done, you can cut off the yarn. So now to put it together, you're gonna get the jump ring and you're going to first open it like this. So now you're going to be inserting the jump ring right into that very first stitch where we did the first row, right there. Now you're gonna get the fish hook and first you wanna turn, just twist this little loop that we have towards the front of the hook. So just grab it like this and you're just going to hold the hook like this and you're going to twist it. So now it's going to be facing the front of the hook as you can see. So now hold the jump ring nice and sturdy you're going to be having the hook facing down and you're going to be having the front facing the right side of the earring like this. Place at the back of the jump ring, hold that in place, try not to <laughs> release it. Hold one side of the jump ring and then with the other tool, I'm going to be closing the jump ring in place. So returning it into its original position. I like just to press it like this, just a tiny little bit, just so it closes nicely the little round. And now we are done with our earring. Oh, look at this, it's so pretty. And now I have both completed. It's so pretty, it's so summery, so boho. I love how it turns out uh, when we do this little applique and turn into a pendant for an earring, a pair of earrings. And I think it looks so unique, so different. And if you do the little glue thing that I told you about, it's going to give a really nice structure and it's not gonna be folding. Uh, when you're wearing. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. This is it for today's video. It, it was super quick, super easy, and you're going to be rocking this during summertime now for festivals. Or you can just go to the beach and you, if you want to take a nice picture with something crochet, this is an option. Or if you are going to walk around and enjoy the sun and you want to take nice pictures with your beautiful earring or just wear them out, feel free to do so because you can <laughs> and it's crochet and just wear the heck out of it because it's crochet and you can <laughs> so yeah thank you so so much i really hope you enjoy and you wear this a lot now for summertime and yeah if you did enjoy don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you did enjoy and what color you're going to be making them with i did with this beautiful mustard shade but you can do it in any shady one you can even do with a colorful yarn and that's going to look amazing and if you want to watch more videos like this one quick tutorials on crochet or even harder tutorials too that i do here on the channel don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch more videos just like this one thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye bye